hello everyone welcome back to my channel and this is a one session of that backgrounds uh, background series okay so how we can implement as a background service in the sp dot uh, net core web api but later on we'll do in a, in a other web application as well so let's get started to demo so let's run this our web, web api okay and see our application is running okay and in background you will see okay let me open uh, that console whatever running our api so our api is running on this this listener okay let me open yeah in this listener listener is a 7054 okay so if you go to see here okay let me zoom in so yes so let me see see this port and this is a listening point okay and also you are able to see see some of the logging actually going on in the background after 10 seconds every 10 second interval actually see like last time it is uh, given 11 45 36 and then 48 36 okay the 10 second interval actually it's going on uh, some uh, some command is fire okay so that will implement in this session that how our api is running or host in your you know any server and without creating any window window service application so uh, that background job also we can process okay so that will achieve in this session okay let's get start to implement okay let me here okay let me start create a one application okay let me open visual studio okay create a new project now choose this sp.net core web api okay and later on we'll use a web application as well so as of now just back also just choose background busy service service web api okay remove that web api name is the solution name okay next create okay now your uh, web api application is generating okay so this is a simple process to generate web api okay so now it's generating okay simply you feel you run this application nothing we have just uh, you know sample sample weather cut for weather forecast you know get endpoint over here okay so also if you open there's a nothing happening over here okay so that will introduce uh, that background service how we can you know use that background service so that our uh, background process uh, will run and we can fire whatever implementation like for example i want to uh, run in background in our web application uh, one of the send email like for example something update in our db so i will just call uh, i will call i will check actually db uh, db and once i get this status so i will send an email to that particular user so this kind of many scenario actually we can use it okay so let me close and uh, first what need to do first i required one nuget package for this implementation okay so what is that package name the package name is microsoft extension microsoft extension hosting okay so install this one whatever your uh, uh, version based on this just install it apply okay so that is done okay installing done let me close okay save it okay let me create a one service folder so that whatever service i want to do in this background i will i can keep it over here so just call it background bg service services okay in this busy services i need to create a email background service okay let me create a one class okay just name it to email email background service service okay so if this is a email background service i need to inject you know background service uh, background service you know 
background service class okay so where is that one just inject that background service and once you inject this background if you go to that background service class okay just right click and go to implementation see this is an abstract class okay and it is actually uh, inherit the i hosting and also disposable so whatever i will uh, perform so automatically it will dispose as well okay and it is actually inside that i hosting which is we just uh, you know add that packages okay so go back in here and see once you inject so i need to implement one of the class uh, one of the implement abstract method okay so which one i need to implement i need to implement override execute async okay so let me override execute async okay that's it okay and now what i need to do i need to set one condition okay so that till execution will going on you know when it the cancellation valid cancellation token okay so what i need to do is just to create a while and then put out that condition is not equal to is cancellation request okay and inside that i can put that i can put our logic actually so here i can put our logic like uh, get db okay get db status of mail okay then finally we can call a logic of send email okay so this is the actually where we can just put some logic okay so very simple and finally we can also we can set our interval as well so how we can do that just we can set task dot delay okay delay like uh, whatever interval you want to set so i was just to set like time time span dot form second dot i will pass is 10 second in this 10 second okay so uh, within 10 second interval like first execute okay then after wait will 10 second then again it will actually execute okay and also just passes to token that's it okay and now uh, i will not do the real implementation but yeah just uh, for the demonstration pros perspective i will just you know just uh, for the example like when i can when it is starting so it is just start okay background service just uh, console i write a one log over here like okay console dot write line i background service is running up okay this time and just you know then i will put over here like okay uh, you know db job like get the status from db okay on this time and then this is a for demos perspective actually writing some console log but yeah in the real implementation you can put your logic as well either. and then finally email email successfully email send successful successful okay so okay so that is done okay and uh, let me run our application one more time so that okay there is some issue uh, some bracket missing i guess okay so this one is missing so let me yeah so one curly bracket is missing was missing so let me run again now it is running okay api is running and let me open that console listening point okay definitely after 10 second uh, it will start and it will show that log as well also we will put on debug don't worry about that so that we can check like uh, it is firing or not okay so it is not firing okay so what is the problem let me fix that let me close that okay yeah problem is like I create a background service okay I inject I implementation done but I have not resolved the dependency so I need to resolve the dependency how we can do that go to program.files okay here you have to register your dependency if you don't know how we can register dependency so you can go to my you know my web api session 
and there actually I explain many many details okay so how we can do that uh, so in this builder dot services there is a one call extension method like add host service okay so inside this service I have to pass whatever our service I implement okay so that's it okay let me zoom in what you need to do I just recap you have to do this builder service add host service inside this whatever your uh, implement background classes abstract class uh, implement over here so that you need to pass over here okay that's it run again okay and let me right uh, open the console as well okay so yeah see now background service is running on this time 11 30 and get the status from the DV and that email sent successful also this time okay see every 10 second interval it's going on okay okay let me debug also okay so that we can check okay see now finally it's firing over here actually this method will not fire this loop will 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 fire okay so see once you just forward here this 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 then finally here and then like that okay again it will fire after 10 second okay so see it's complete again it's firing okay so like this way actually you can just implement very simple okay so that's it for this session Thank you. Have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe.